Hey everybody. So um, Jeff and I are on our way to a mystery date for Jeff. It's his birthday two days ago and I'm taking him on a mystery date. He doesn't know what the date is. I'm taking him to an actual mystery dinner theater. So I've been calling it his mystery date this whole time and it really is a mystery date. So he doesn't, he hasn't gotten the, um, the irony of that yet. Going up the escalade. Jeff still doesn't know what we're doing. He's, got a, he's about to find out. Look how pretty he looks though. He looks so pretty. You know what we're doing? No. It's a mystery dinner theater. What? <laughs> it's for his birthday. She surprised he me. He hasn't known this whole time. Mystery dinner theater. It's a dinner dinner. Hey. We're signed in. <laughs> Table three, we got our chicken. Uh, that's what we're eating tonight. And now we have to go make an alias. You're gonna be what? Jack yeah. Clover. And I'm gonna be Scarlet. Yeah, a little pepper. I like it spicy. Interrogation for him. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you need some yeah. Let's get the Trust no one, Jeff. Let's try to figure out who's part of this devious like plan and ultimately what his or her motives might be. Interrogate everyone around you. Sample interrogation questions. Place uh, to take notes. It's really good. Not bad, right? I'm not normally a huge hummus fan, but that's really good. It's really loud, but we're going to try to talk. Jeff and I already have um, an idea of the people beside us. Something's about to go down. Wait. I don't trust the waiter. You'll trust the waiter? We're suspicious. Welcome to another episode of The Dinner Detective. I realized that the show has already started. Oh. There are people here who are talking about things they shouldn't be talking about. There are people <laughs> here, you know, doing really suspicious things like eating pita bread. <laughs> tonight, this is a game, and it has a prize value of up to $150. Hey. She's asked us to stand up and interrogate other people. No. No? Do not. Are you interrogating me? Yes. Are you guilty? I'm asking questions. Look how everybody else is interrogating. Look at this. That was, that was a very noisy endeavor. Well, she's really the only person out of our group that's a little shady. <laughs> so I'm a little worried that she uh, might have been involved in something suspect. Okay, wow. so you're saying Marcy is suspicious. Yes. Should have listened to that fortune teller. Jump on it. Jump on it. No? No. Maybe, maybe magic moves. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. All right, cool. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, feel free to mingle and get the party started. You know, go ahead and have a seat. In the hotel room, there's bunches of shiner bottles everywhere. So if you see this person, ladies, listen, hey, y'all, listen to me. Y'all see me, you're right. If y'all see this person, let us know. This person is dangerous. All right, let us know. Now we have dinner. So, uh oh, mushrooms. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Jeff, there's mushrooms. Okay. Mushrooms and potatoes. Potatoes. Looks good. Doing some research. What? What? I everybody in this room for like two dollars. For like two dollars? Anyway, I think so. need to move on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, Assassin, sit down. Oh my God. <laughs> they found their pictures on the dead guy. <laughs> oh, it's funny. They're, they're planted. Rob, have you ever heard my husband scream at a mouse? <laughs> <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> what name did you choose for yourself tonight? Uh, Big Money. Everyone say hi, Big Money. <laughs> hi, Big Money. <laughs> Uh, were you in the room when Corey Guard Julio died? Yes. All right, so you saw it? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you think you could give an accurate representation of that? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Flavor's great. Yeah, I've definitely been laughing. <laughs> it's supposed to be cheesy and campy. That's They've achieved that. That's the point. <laughs> it's supposed to be silly and funny. And a yeah, lot of, uh, there's a lot good. of improv too that happens to the I think that's what it is. It's gotta be. This can't be rehearsed. Well, it's rehearsed to a point, but then there's a lot of improv too. As an actor, it's probably really fun. Good. Nice beard. Thank you. Nice beard. Maybe you changed your name tag. <laughs> Same one all night. To Jack. Who can vouch for you? <laughs> well, you have a name tag on too, and I was told everybody with a name tag was suspect. True. Sure. I like the clues, I like building the case, and kind of getting funny. your own take. I've got, I've got a little bit of something going on. Look at Jeff's, look at Jeff's clues. Mine doesn't really go anywhere just yet. I'm missing a few vital clues, but I don't get those, and it's all conjecture. I have a few things, but I don't know how they all fit together yet. I don't know, I don't know either. Jeff doesn't like the cut of the talent manager's like jib. Somebody, even if you're kidding. Yeah. I think she's really. I think she's just. No, I think she's planning. Oh, no. She's, she, she didn't seem like she was acting. I think she was acting.
some sort of like auto care, like like big money auto or something. Hey, we talked to a big money. We did. Hey, where's, hey, where's big money? Where's big money? He left. Um, He's been gone. He had to take a business call. He had to take a business call. Oh, okay. Wait. by Kenneth Dahl that points the finger at Adrian Douglas. Ken Dahl, the musician, was trying to get his life back on track. He was to expose yo Adrian. Or Julio, to make the coroner's report say it was drug-induced and not, uh, the, not the brakes fail. That's so what happened. She essentially paid them right. to, to kill uh, Ken Dahl and cover it up. Okay. What are you talking about? Hey, come on, partner. Wait. Do we have three more minutes? Now that tells us who killed Ken Dahl. It does not tell us who killed Yo Adrian, Cory Gard, Julio, or Big Money. Right. And the liner notes was a song that kept on saying, "Perfect pair, perfect pair. We are a perfect pair." <laughs> What's a perfect who pair? Who's a perfect pair for, for Ken Dahl? Barbie. Barbie. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Well, we realized we were wrong. Dang it, I never even knew that woman was Kindle, Barbie, brilliant. Uh -huh. So that was, that was really fun. I did not get the killer right. I was so close, I had all the clues right, but the lady who was playing um, Barbie completely it, it completely, off. it just like went over my head under the radar, totally under the radar. And their last name was Doll. So he was Ken Doll and she was Barbie Doll, D A H. Well, it, it, oh, it's a little too One distracting. of the suspects, uh, Top Dollar, you know, Big Money was sitting right next to you. And yeah, he was I talking knew to something. Top Dollar about something. We're sitting right beside two of the actors the whole time. We knew. I knew pretty short off because the guy next to me was talking about aliens. <laughs> And how redheads are very um, susceptible to, um, what did he say, like receiving messages and, from aliens yeah, and, and knowing. Yeah, and how cars that are white are statistically faster than <laughs> cars that are black. <laughs> he was he was special. Um, it was funny. But they did a really good job. The actors were fun. I liked it. I don't know. You, I think Jeff was cringing the whole time. The whole time. I don't think he liked it. I liked it because I, I like murder the mystery clues. stuff. I like the clues. I like the evidence. I like going through all of that. Uh, 
the rest of it was okay. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think and they did a really good job putting it to, together. I think it was well they have rehearsed. Do, and, they have to do, oh. do a lot of they have to do a lot of improv. I got all the details right, but I did not get the murderer right. I guess top dollar because I thought maybe that was her son. I she had was defending him, key but. people that I was focusing on, but I, everybody but everybody but Barbie. Adrian, top dollar, Dang big it, money, random dude that died in the beginning. We know that because he screamed. He screamed a lot. He got a lot. A lot. It was fun. It was fun. It was, it was good. If you're in Houston area and you want to do Dinner Detective, it was pretty good. It was like, I think it was 70 bucks a person. I actually have been to this before about, oh gosh, like six years ago, and I won. I got it right. I got the murderer right, and I got the details right. And so I won a whole prize package with a shirt and a mug and a free coupon to come back and um, an Alfred Hitchcock DVD collection. So I used my free coupon tonight to come back and I brought Jeff. So all I had to do was pay for him. That was pretty nice. But I think they have a Groupon too. So check Groupon if you're in the area for that too. But it was fun. I had a great time. Yeah. Note to self though, you have to pay valet to park. Something to think about if you come down here and to be aware of. You may want to Uber it down here. So. But thanks for coming with us. Hope you guys had fun and hope you guys try some new things. And remember? Sutton stops. Make the make best, the best adventures. adventures.